Hello guys, T3 Toxic here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your Fortnite game from not loading its textures. So pretty much if your game looks like this when you're about to land, or when you're just walking, I'll be showing you how to fix it. But alright guys, before we get into the video, I would just like to say that I'm going to be streaming on Twitch from now on. If you guys did watch my YouTube streams, you might notice that I haven't streamed for quite some time. That's just because I've been setting up my Twitch. So if you guys really want to go and see my Twitch streams, you guys can go into the description and maybe drop me a follow as I will be streaming there quite often. And guys, I would just like to say if I help you out in today's video, consider dropping a like and if you do enjoy my channel, please consider subscribing as it would really help me out. But guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously go down to your search bar and search create a restore points. And as you can see, you see it says create restore points, just click on that. And now this window here should pop up. Under protection settings, you want to go and have a look at the drive with your windows located on. Mine is my SSD and the way you can tell is with those window logo. If it has a window logo, then it is the drive with your windows located on. So click on it, click on configure, and I'm going to set this to 5% because as you can see my current usage of all the settings on my windows is 4 gigabytes, but keep it as 5% as that's pretty safe for everybody. Just click apply and OK. Then you're going to want to create the restore points. I'm going to name it today's date. As you can see, it's the 29th of December. Click create. Now I am creating restore points. It shouldn't take so long, but it can vary on how good your PC is. Just this should pop up. Just click close. And let me explain how you restore and what it is. So if you don't already know what a restore points is, it's pretty much a way to save how your computer was before this video. So right now I've made you create a restore points. So if these changes don't help out or if you don't like them, you can just go back to the way your computer was before. Let me show you how. Once you have created a restore point, you come back here and you click system restore. And here it will bring this up. You click next and then you click on the one that you want. As you can see, this is the restore point that I had just created. I'd click next and carry on with the tutorial and yeah. So now I'm just going to close out of this and we can carry on. All right guys, so for the real first step, you want to go to your search bar and search up control panel. Once you're here, you want to click system and security, system, this should pop up, advanced system settings. If you guys do have a different window that pops up, there should be a, it should look like this and there'll be an advanced on this side. But if you guys have this window, you click on advanced system settings. Then under advanced, you see performance. I'll move this to the middle. Then you click on settings. Once you have that, you want to go here and click just for best performance. And then you're going to click on custom. And you're going to, going to check this box here, animate controls and elements inside windows. Check that. And then you go down and you look for show thumbnails instead of icons. You check that. And then you look for smooth edges of screen fonts and check that. So what I'm doing here is I'm just making it look worse so your PC can perform better. But I'm checking these ones so your computer doesn't look like a potato. But if you really want to, you can just turn them all off. Then you want to click apply and then you click OK. All right, guys. So now you want to go back to the settings and you click on advanced. So I've already clicked on advanced here and now on performance options, you want to click advanced. Then under virtual memory, you want to click change and you want to turn off automatically managing packaging file sizes for all drives. Just uncheck that and check custom size. Once you have done that, don't close it, just go back to this window, or it could look like this, depending on what update you have. Go back to this window and check how much installed RAM you have. I have 16 gigabytes, so I'm going to go back here and type in 16,000. For initial size, 16,000, and here, 16,000. Then you want to click set and OK. Alright guys, so for the next step, you want to go back to your search bar and search up device, and the device manager should show up. Click on it and go under display adapters as you can see right here display adapters and this is my graphics card yours might be different or you know maybe you might have the same graphics card as me but you just want to right click on it click on properties and you go to details over here and change this from device description to hardware lds and now you're going to want to remember this first one right here. Just sort of remember this last little thing, but just keep this in mind. Or just leave this window open. I'm going to leave it open because I don't feel like remembering each and every single letter. So 
Once you've seen this, you want to hold down your Windows key and press R at the same time. This run menu should open up. And now you want to type in reg edit. Then click OK and this window should pop up. The next thing you're going to want to do is go on under H key local machine, click this little arrow, then system and look for current control sets, click on that, then enum and then look for PCI. Here's my PCI, I'm going to click on that. And now you're going to want to maybe extend this if you so wish and try find the same one here. So as you guys can see, this is vein 10 de let's see, so these are all the same. So now this is 1B, let's see, where's 1B, 1B, 8, 1, and yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same one. Ends in rev, yep, this is the right one. So I'm going to click on this, then I'm going to go down again, and I'm going to go down to device parameters. Alright guys, now into reference management, and before you do anything, you guys want to go down to my comment section and check the pinned message. It's going to be called message signal interrupt properties. Just copy that with control C or highlight it and right click and copy it. And what you want to do now, once you've copied it, you want to right click on interrupt management. Make sure you click on it and make sure it's highlighted, right click it, then new and then key and then control V to paste it in. Once you guys have done that, just press enter and it should work. If you guys do get something saying, something like new key or ready key, something like that, just delete it and try it again. But remember, just follow what I did. I copied it, made a new thing without, without exiting the new key. I control V and then enter. Just remember that, it should be easy. Next thing you want to do is right click on the message signal interrupt properties and click new and D word 30 bit value. Click on that and it should add this over here and, and you'll want to name it MSI supported but make sure your cap lock is on or just hold shift. I'll just keep my cap locks on. So MSI supported. So MSI supported. Just remember it's that MSI supported, you know, with the easy not support, just MSI supported. If you like, I don't know, just remember this two P's, you know, I don't know if you guys don't know how to spell, but you know, maybe. So just click enter. And once you've done that, you want to right click on it and click on modify. And now once you have done that, you want to change this from a zero to a one. Once you've done that, just click OK and you're done. And now that you've done this, this is the biggest part of the whole video. This is almost 100% going to fix your game. And once you've done that, you want to close out and close this over here and open up device manager. And once you've opened up your device manager again, you want to right click on it and click update driver. You're going to click automatically search for drivers. And as you can see, the best drivers for my system is already installed, so I don't need to update it but you might need to update it. And once you've done that, you can just click close and close device manager. All right guys, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your search bar and search update. And check for updates should pop up, just click on that. And you should see either you're up to date or that you're needing to update your windows. So don't worry about what this says here. This is probably not gonna be seen by you guys, but this is just for me. So as you can see, I'm up to date, so I don't need to worry about anything else. But if you guys need to update it, just check for updates. Once you've done that, you can just close out of it and go back to your search bar and type Windows PowerShell. Just click on that and this should open up. The next thing you're going to want to do is go down to the pinned comments. I will have two things in there and copy this thing called power CFG duplicate scheme and then a whole bunch of letters. Just copy that with control C and control V it into the Windows PowerShell. Then click enter and you're done. If you guys don't know what it does, it activates ultimate performance, but it's not 100% finished. So just close out and open power plan and edit power plan should open up. Make sure that these things are both on never unless you want it to go off. But that's just my personal opinion. It does help. Then power options and go down to this show additional plans and click on ultimate performance. I have two because I already have done this video, but as you can see, just click on that and your PC will be using the most power so if you are having a laptop then it might be a bit difficult for you but your PC will be on ultimate performance and get you the best performance. This will give you an FPS boost and most likely help your textures. Once you have done that you don't need to save it you just close out and now guys we're just onto the easy part of the video. Just go into your search bar type 
percent ten percent this should pop up just click on that and before we do anything i would just like to tell you guys what this is is so pretty much temp is all the files that your computer doesn't need anymore let's just say i went into photoshop and i created the thumbnail and i already have the thumbnail and finished it photoshop will save the thumbnail in here but not like the actual finished thumbnail just like random parts let's just say i had text it would save it in here i don't need that because it's already in photoshop so just don't worry because if you're if any of your apps are still using it it will tell you that it doesn't want you to delete it and you can't delete it so just highlight everything I have quite a lot and you guys might have less or more than me this is actually insane of how much temp I've never had this much but as you can see you just go down and once you've done that you just want to highlight everything and press the del or delete button on your computer or you can just right click and delete as you can see it is deleting pretty much 3000 files and you see these files right here my computer doesn't want me to delete them so it tells me you know it's all good. So I just click on do this for all current items and click skip and there you go. You've deleted your temp. And all right guys, that's it. You know, and now you've fixed your game. If the guys did help you out and your game is 100% fixed, you know, consider dropping a like as it really helps me out. And if you do love my channel enough, you know, drop a subscribe as it'll really make me happy and help me out. And plus, it's free and if you don't like my channel in the future, you can always unsubscribe at any time. But guys, without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.